Though already enjoying a long waiting list of keen customers in the Philippines, Isuzu Philippines Corporation is not content with the current power offering of the Buex nor its stablemate, the D-Max. The pleas for more power have been heard and as such, IPC has invited a contingent of members of the media to a sneak peek at their solution to the problem. Join us in this feature as we travel to Isuzu's Cha Chong Sai complex in Thailand to test drive the new 4JJ1 PC HI engine in the updated MUX and DMAX. There's an old adage that power is never enough that seems to hold true with Isuzu. Not content with the current performance of the DMAX and MUX, and all the more keen to offer their customers more. As such, just a few months after the launch of the 2.5-liter VGS engine, Isuzu is flying a contingent of media professionals to sample the next step in the ante, the 3.0-liter VGS. Twenty modeling scribes from various publications, TV shows, and radio stations assembled at the Nino Aquino International Terminal to catch the afternoon flight to Bangkok. Isuzu executives were on hand to meet the press as they arrived at the terminal. After the usual pre-flight requirements, the group then boarded the plane for the three-hour flight to Bangkok. Upon arrival, the group then boarded a bus and headed to Pullman Hotel in Bangkok. After refreshing up in their rooms, the host brought the group out for a welcome dinner to sample some of the country's best delicacies. Come the next morning, it was time to head to a venue integral to the production of the D-Max and Mu-X. The Chang Chong Sao complex, where the vehicles are manufactured and tested for various markets around ASEAN. The venue is just two hours away from Bangkok by bus. Yet in this sprawling complex are facilities for manufacture, assembly, and research and development. Participants were brought to the parabolic test track with long straights and tight cambered corners. There are also specially designed sections with ruts, cobblestones, and bumps, and even a slope to test the car's climbing ability. This oval-shaped circuit is designed to test the car's acceleration cornering and suspension. Upon our arrival, a gleaming row of D-Max and Muex vehicles equipped with a new engine lay waiting. Yet before the drive, a proper briefing was in order. Welcoming us was no less than President Hajimi Koso with a few remarks. Welcome to the Muex and D-Max test drive at the Gateway Proving Branch in Thailand. And also thank you very much, IMI people and IC people to prepare the, our test drive today. Thank you very much. And we are all here to have a sneak preview of the latest model of our, our best selling product, Isuzu, UX, and DMAX. Very soon, we will be launching this new model to the Philippine market. But before we do, we would like you to be the first to feel the power of this two amazing vehicles. I mentioned power because the new X and the new new X and the new D Max has power, a lot of power. But of course, all that power comes in a package that can only be made possible possible by Isuzu. A package that is also bundled with film efficiency and performance and durability, the usual must have he was then followed by Siguru Karosigi, General Manager, Isuzu Technical Center of Asia Company Limited, and Mr. Minami, Head of DMAX and MUX Design. Uh, our company, IK, is the uh, uh, basis of product research and development uh, for Isuzu like commercial vehicles. We would like to welcome you all 
uh, media for Philippines in September 2013. Uh, all new Mitsubishi Max was launched in Philippines. Since then, uh, we think Mitsubishi Max can get very good reaction and uh, reputation for Filipino customers with Mitsubishi characteristics such as fuel efficiency. <coughs> Having learned more about the new engine, it was then time to drive. Participants were pre-assigned numbers to more easily facilitate the order of the test drive. Of course, there could be no better pair to flag off the series of drives than IPC's present Hajime Koso and Ziguro Karoshigi. While waiting, I took the opportunity to talk to Isuzu executives about the new engine. Well prepared for the interview was IPC's president Hajimi Koso. Uh, we are here right now at the special media test drive of our 3.0 liter VGS turbo variants of the Isuzu D-Max and the Mu-X uh, to be uh, available by the end of October. This variant will be our newest offering to the Philippine market and our answer to our power driven customers. Not far was IPC's senior vice president, Art Bal Madrid. Uh, we have about uh, 20 uh, VIPs uh, from our media friends who have uh, joined us here to test drive, to be the first ones to test drive the new uh, 3 liter engine of the Mu X and the uh, D Max uh, pickup. And we are hoping to be able to introduce this uh, very, very soon in the Philippines. But before that, we would like to get the, the opinions and the comments of our media friends. That's why, they, they, that's why we brought them here to uh, precisely test drive by themselves and uh, uh, get some comments from them. We are still have some uh, waiting list of customers from our network and uh, every month we still uh, increase our sales volume especially the muex this is now becoming our bread and butter not only the uh, flagship carrier of trooper in the philippines but also uh, the number one uh, in terms of sales volume of all our products i think it's more than 50 percent of our products are are, are all uh, muex there to explain the new model's role in the lineup was Executive Vice President Takashi Tomita. We uh, want to expand our customers. Uh, uh, now, uh, 2.5 liter is very uh, uh, popular among the uh, family users. But uh, we want to expand the customers of, as I say, uh, sports drivers or the uh, um, uh, younger generation as well. If we add the 3-liter the, uh, the, uh, model, maybe a uh, uh, line will be longer. <laughs> Finally, any technical questions were easily handled by Joseph Bautista. First, we are very happy with the result of the MUX. Since we launched last September of 2014 last year, we already sold almost 10,000. So we're very happy with uh, the Filipino for patronizing the MUX. But uh, in, in the market, we're in... Uh, Competition is ever changing. We have to step up. So uh, some customer requesting for uh, higher horsepower for the engine. So this time we are equipping the Mu X as well as the D Max with the 3.0 liter uh, BGS turbo diesel engine. So it, it, we increase the power from uh, the previous uh, 3, 136 on the 2.5 uh, BGS to 163 163 PS on the 3 liter BGS. Also improved the torque from 320 to 380. We have realized that uh, some people really prefer some uh, more power on the acceleration and uh, more power on the climbing as well as uh, more power to, to pull many things. So this is the answer to the request of some of our customers. The Dimas also will be getting the same engine as the MUX, the 3.0 BGS. Uh, as well as uh, we are doing some improvements on the Dimax. Uh, we have added the uh, a reverse camera on the D-Max, also introducing a new color, the Venetian Red. On the MiX, we have uh, added for the 3.0 uh, daytime running light and uh, a new uh, tailpipe finisher. But the main highlight is still the engine. Uh, Isuzu engine is not only uh, all about power, but uh, we have to make sure that it should be fuel efficient and uh, durable. These are the expectations of our customer on the Isuzu engine. 
With most of the contingent having driven, it was time to have our go at the wheel. The new 3.0 liter engine is fitted with a variable geometry system VGS turbocharger. Put simply, the blades of its turbo can now twist as it spins. This changes the angle of the blades allowing the turbo to adjust to low revs or high revs and provide consistent boost pressure no matter how high or low the revs. With this system, the engine can produce more power and exhilarate quicker from as low as 1,500 RPM. It results in more usable power earlier, resulting in better fuel efficiency over its predecessor. The track drive involves sampling the improved acceleration along the main straight, then slowing down for the corners to sample the handling then there's a chance to accelerate while coming out of the turn to simulate highway merging or overtaking. Besides the drive, Isuzu also had present the Philippine-bound models fitted with several improvements. MUX LSA variants will also benefit from LED daytime running lamps or DRL and chrome tailpipe finishers. The 3.0-liter D-Max, on the other hand, will be offered with a new Venetian red shade and a standard backup camera mounted on the tailgate handle. The view behind will be projected on the 7-inch touchscreen entertainment system. The next day, our hosts at IPC thought we ought to take advantage of our stay in Thailand and try the many cultural experiences the country is known for. Right after breakfast, the group boarded the bus again to head to one of Thailand's most popular destinations, the Damunoen Saduak Floating Market in Ratchaburi, Thailand. In this unusual place of trade, canals serve as streets while goods are hawked from canoes, be they fruits and vegetables or local handicrafts. A canoe ferries visitors around the labyrinthine canals of the venue getting up close and personal with the goods. Next on the itinerary was the Crocodile Show. This attraction features locals and their crocodiles performing stunts and tricks with the dangerous animals. Several moments had us worried that a head, or God forbid, a head would be snapped off by those powerful jaws. But the trainers always managed to pull them away just in the nick of time. The next experience is probably Thailand's most famous, a ride on an elephant. We boarded them and took a short ride around a coconut grove. It turns out this was truly Thailand's first 4x4, as the elephants did not hesitate to tackle tough terrain and even wade through water. Finally, back at the city, it was time for one dinner with our hosts, this time to see the city from a different angle, the river, via a river cruise. Colleagues and friends toasted to the wonderful experience granted by our generous hosts. And even after, music continued to play and laughter echoed into the night. With this kind of hospitality, it's no wonder Isuzu has become a household name for Filipino car enthusiasts. Though they sell cars, it's not hard to compare the experience their vehicles bring to the comfort of home. Long live Isuzu! That wraps up our look at the latest 4JJ1 TZ engine from Isuzu and the new MUX and DMAX that will be empowered by it.